February 9th, 2022 Planning Commission Public Hearing. My name is Jack Wall and I am the chairman of the Virginia Beach Planning Commission. <clears throat> um, Commissioners Cuellar, Horsley, and Redmond will not be in attendance today. Uh, before we get started, I have asked Commissioner Costin to lead us in prayer, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance by Commissioner Klein. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for this glorious day which you have made. God, we thank you for this opportunity, God, to serve the citizens of Virginia Beach. We ask, dear God, that you would look on us and bless us with your guidance, and your wisdom, O oh God, that we may make prudent decisions. God, we ask that you would look on all those who have assembled here today. Bless us and keep us in a spirit of fellowship and love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, thank you. Um, I've asked Mr. Frankenfield to introduce the members of the Planning Commission. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, to my right is David Bradley. He represents the Princess Anne District, and he is the uh, retired budget director for the City of Virginia Beach, so he keeps everything straight financially. Uh, next to him is David Weiner, uh, Kempsville District, and he's in construction sales, and he's the fastest speed reader we have. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. I got, and next is Dee Oliver. She's at large and a funeral funeral director, and I don't have anything funny to say about her. <laughs> George, I'm afraid to say anything. Uh, and, and next is George Alcarez. He's the Beach District. Um, he has a wide variety of experience in special events, construction, and restaurants. And um, next to him is Jack Wall. He, oh, did I say George represents the Beach District? I probably did. Whatever. So he represents the Beach District. <laughs> Jack Wall uh, represents the Rosemont District. He's a civil engineer, and I found out today he works with the Army Corps of Engineers and is in the Navy Reserves. Uh, next, well, not next to him, but right down the row there is Robin Klein, <laughs> Centerville District, and we are so dismayed. This is her last meeting. She's moving mm -hmm. to Vermont and living in the woods or something. I don't know what, but uh, <laughs> she's very excited about moving. And next, and, um, next to her is uh, John Costin. He is a, at large, and he's a retired captain from the Virginia Beach Fire Department. And one more stop, and as Kay Wilson is our, mm -hmm. our deputy city attorney. Um, so I am Barry Frankenfield. I'm a, a landscape architect and my claim to fame is I'm retired planning director but if you want a planning director that really knows what he's doing <laughs> that person next to me is uh, the planning director is Bobby Tahan and he will introduce the staff yeah. thank you mr. Frankenfield right. mm -hmm. <laughs> um, clerking today we have Madison Harris and Pam Sandlu uh, starting with the staff with the rest of the planning administration staff as well as the other supporting uh, zoning administration staff uh, we have Carolyn Smith our planning administrator Waddell and Marshall Coleman. Uh, we have Elizabeth Nowak and Michaela. Why am I going to say it wrong again? I see I did it again. McKinney. <laughs> it's McKinney, and I was going to say it wrong. I was going <laughs> to, never mind. I don't know why I do that. Um, uh, with the city attorney's office, we have Victoria Eisenberg, as well as uh, with uh, comprehensive planning, we have Hank Morrison, and with zoning, we have uh, Levi Luckenbach. Mm -hmm. And I believe we also have Rick Loman with public works traffic engineering. And okay, Hannah. thank you. Oh, and Hannah, I can't see Hannah. Okay. So, oh, and Hannah Sabo, our zoning administrator, sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, the next order of business is, you know, unfortunately, you know, what Mr. Frankenfield mentioned, which was, you know, the departure in the last meeting of Miss Robin Klein. Um, she's been, you know, an incredible asset to the Planning Commission and, um, you know, support to the city and to the citizens of, of Virginia Beach, you know, in her her time here, and how, how long have you been on the Planning Commission? Almost? Uh, over two years. Over two years, and it's been you know, very fruitful and you know, very appreciative of your, your positive attitude, <laughs> your warm demeanor, and you know, just the input and the, um, just the, the integrity and character that you bring to the, uh, to the position. So thank you very much. Thank you. For, for 
you know, supporting the citizens of Virginia Beach and, and being on this this commission. So with that, um, we have a gift for you. So you know this is you know in recognition of your your service you know, to the community and to uh, the citizens of Virginia Beach. Thank you. So, and you get to take your name plaque. <laughs> oh yeah. Good. Okay. Take it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Next, I've asked the clerk to describe the rules and order of business for today's meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Virginia Beach Planning Commission takes pride in being fair and courteous to all parties in attendance. It is important that all involved understand how the commission normally conducts its meetings. It is equally important that everyone treat each other and the members of the commission with respect and civility. We request that if you have a cell phone to either silence it or turn it off. Following is an abbreviated explanation of the rules. The complete set of rules is located in the front of the Planning Commission agenda. The order of business for this public hearing, withdrawals and deferrals. The chairman will ask if there are any requests to withdraw or defer an item on the agenda. Consideration of these requests will be made first. Consent agenda. The second order of business is the consideration of the consent agenda, which are those items that the Planning Commission believe are unopposed and which have favorable staff recommendation. Regular agenda. The Commission will then proceed with the remaining items on the agenda. Today we will have both in-person speakers and speakers participating via WebEx. When an agenda item has been called, we will recognize the applicant or the representative first. Following the applicant or the repre representative, in-person speakers will be called next. And then the speakers participating via WebEx. Speakers in support or opposition of an agenda item will have three minutes to speak unless they are solely representing a large group such as a Civic League or Homeowners Association, in which case they will have 10 minutes. For WebEx speakers, once your name is called, please pause two to three seconds to begin to ensure the commissioners hear your complete remarks. As one audio feed can only be open at a time, do, at, do not ask, can you hear me, as you will not be able to hear a response. If a speaker does not respond or if a technical issue occurs which renders the com comments unintelligible, we will move on to the next speaker or the next order of business. Please note that the actions taken by the Commission today are in the form of a recommendation to the Virginia Beach City Council. The final decision to approve or disapprove an application will be made by the City Council. The Commission thanks you for your attendance and we hope that your experience here today leaves you feeling that you have been heard and treated fairly. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, the next order of business is consideration of requests to withdraw or defer an item. Um, Please come forward if you have an item to be withdrawn. And seeing none, please come forward if you have an item to be deferred. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. For the record, Eddie Berdon, Virginia Beach Attorney, representing case number one, the um, Nelson and Gray families. Um, we'd like to request a deferral for the reasons that I explained to both WA and to the chairman uh, having to do with my calendar the last 10 days. Um, I just want to make sure we don't waste the commission's time on something that winds up having to be deferred. So I just need uh, a month so we can get with staff on um, whether or not there needs to be any uh, proffers associated with this application. Thank you. I'm not opposed to his <laughs> oh, no, no, I understand that. Now, please come forward, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you might think I was opposed. Yeah. I, would, I would never oppose Eddie. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen of the Planning Commission for the record, Billy Garrington, on behalf of two applicants. Agenda item number two, Winner's Property, LLC, 3700 Centero Way. We're asking for a 30-day deferral on that. And agenda item number 10, U.S. Surf Company at 2017 Arctic Avenue. If you would please allow 30-day deferral for that item also until the uh, July public hearing. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. So does anybody have any objection to these items being deferred? Seeing none, do I have a motion to defer agenda items one and two for 30 days and agenda item number 10 indefinitely? Hold on. Um, do I have a motion? I believe the applicant requested till July for the... Oh, till July. Oh, so it's not indefinitely. It was the third... 30 days. For both, for number 10 as well. Right. Okay. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry, I was late in my timing. Okay. Can I come to the podium and reopen this question? I have, we are going to defer. Oh, you are going to defer. Okay. Um, so 
Yes, sir. But so the first agenda item one, two, and ten are for thirty days. I think the applicant is requesting for ten to be a thirty day deferral. Okay. All right. And then I'm sorry. yes, sir. Please, please go forward. Yes. Uh, good afternoon. My name is John Mamudis. I'm representative of uh, Witch Duck Real Properties, which is commonly known as the Rich, uh, Witch Duck Recycling and uh, Mount Crushmore uh, of Virginia Beach, as uh, we all know the site. Um, we're requesting a deferral for 30 days, okay. and uh, we have some issues that we need to, a issue we need to resolve and keep it in timing with the, uh, with the, uh, with the application, and uh, I think it's to our benefit at this point to do that. Okay. All okay. right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Um, you know, I hate to repeat myself, but are there any objections to these agenda items being deferred? Okay, um, seeing none, do I have a motion to defer agenda items one, two, five, and 10? Mr. Chairman, I need to say something. Um, Is that next? No. Um, oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> not, not yet. I'll stream a bench one. Yep. Okay. <laughs> make your motion. You make a motion? Okay. No, I'll, I'll, I'll move, move approval. Okay, so do, do we have a second? I'll second. Okay, so we have um, uh, a motion <clears throat> a motion by Mr. Weiner and a second by Ms. Klein. Um, is there anybody <coughs> that needs to abstain from these applications? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to disclose the following. I'm executing this written disclosure regarding the June Planning Commission's discussion and the vote on item number 10, U.S. Surf Company. Uh, 2017 Arctic Avenue. The applicant and I are in several business relationships, but not specifically for this application. I have a financial and pers personal interest in the transaction in regard to our other relationships. Therefore, I will abstain from voting or discussion of this matter on June 8th for Planning Commission. Okay, thank you. I, I as well have to make a disclosure. Um, uh, I am executing this written disclosure uh, regarding the Planning Commission's discussion and vote on number one, Joyce Nelson, Shelley Gray Schweitzer, and Suzanne Gray, 2748 West Landing Road. I work with the husbands of Ms. Schweitzer, but have not worked on this application. I have been informed by the City Attorney's Office that I have no personal financial conflict and can vote on this application. Therefore, I will disclose this interest and vote on this matter at the June 8th, 2022 Planning Commission public hearing. Okay, so we had a, a motion by Mr. Weiner, second by Ms. Klein. Okay. Um, Vote is open. Okay. By recorded vote of eight in favor, zero against, agenda items two and five have been deferred for 30 days. In a vote of seven in favor, zero against, with Commissioner Wall abstaining, agenda item number one has been deferred for 30 days. In a vote of seven in favor, zero against, with an abstention by Commissioner Alcaraz, hmm. agenda item 10 has been deferred for 30 days. So, agenda item number yeah, To clarify for the record, I'm Mr. Sorry. Chair, uh, I, we noted that you did not abstain from number one when you made your disclosure, so that vote was eight to zero for okay. number one as well. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So the next order of business is the consent agenda, and I'm going to turn that over to our vice chair, uh, Mr. Alcaraz, to run that portion of the meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Today we have 10 items on the consent agenda. These items um, are recommended for approval by staff, and the Planning Commission has concurred, and there are no speakers signed up in opposition. Item number three, Hendricks Family Dentistry at 737 Little Neck Road. Please come forward. Thank you, Mr. Alcaraz, Mr. Chairman, uh, for the commission. My name is Eddie Berdon, Virginia Beach Attorney, representing um, the Hendricks family and the, the dentistry um, practice. Uh, <clears throat> Harlan uh, Hendricks has come down, excuse me, Clay Hendricks has come down today um, for this um, hearing. We appreciate this matter being on the consent agenda. All five conditions as recommended by staff are acceptable to us and greatly appreciate Marshall Coleman's uh, assistance and professionalism in handling this matter. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any opposition to this item being placed on the consent agenda? Hearing none, I've asked Commissioner uh, Barry Frankenfield to read this item. 
All right, thank you. Uh, Hendricks Family Dentistry is a change in nonconformity. This building's been here since 1966. It has been expanded uh, one time previously. Uh, the applicant is now asking to, for an additional expansion of 533 square feet. We have received building elevations uh, and that are acceptable and very attractive and fit in with the neighborhood. Um, in addition, they have met all the requirements for parking and operation and, and, and those types of things. Uh, staff has uh, recommended approval. Uh, the request is, is fairly small and modest and will not alter, alter, alternate no, that's not right. <laughs> will not alter. Thank you very much for your help. Uh, will not alter uh, the appearance or compatibility with the neighborhood. So we support approval. Thank you. Like in those things. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Frankfield. Uh, the next item, item number four, is uh, Craig and Chris Kirby at uh, 631 Vanderbilt Avenue. Uh, Representative, please come forward and state your name. And Eddie Bradonner, Mr. Beach Attorney, representing Mr. and Mrs. Kirby. Uh, all four conditions of the street closure as recommended uh, by uh, staff are acceptable to the uh, applicant, and we appreciate being on the consent agenda. And if I could, um, Ms. Klein, we are, we are going to miss you, your um, representation of Centerville and the citizens as a whole, it, it, with the enthusiasm and good cheer, no matter whether you're you know, for or against, has been wonderful, and we, really the city's blessed to have people like you willing to serve. So thank, thank you. you and enjoy Vermont. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Is there any opposition to this item being placed on the consent agenda? Hearing none, I ask Commissioner uh, Bradley to read this item for the record. The applicant is requesting to close a portion of the platted, unnamed, and unapproved alley that is adjacent to the rear lot line. As shown, uh, the proposal includes closure of half of the 15-foot wide alley, totaling 560 three square feet and incorporating that land into the adjacent residential lot. The site is developed uh, consistent with other residential lots in Croatan neighborhood with a single family home and a fenced in backyard. Currently the area is proposed to be closed. Uh, the, the area proposed to be closed is fenced in and has been used and maintained by the applicant. Staff recommended this uh, for approval. And since there's no opposition, we put it on our consent agenda for approval. Thank you. The next item is item number six for Eyes on Your Art Artistry by Brianna at 1270 Diamond Springs Road for a tattoo parlor. Please come forward and state your name. Hi. Hi. Good morning. I'm Brianna Ridgway. Representing Eyes on You Artistry by Brianna Arnie. Are the conditions acceptable to you? Yes. All right, thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Is there any opposition to this item being placed on the consent agenda? Hearing none. Um, sorry. Me. I've asked Mr. Weiner to <laughs> read this item for the record. Thank you, Mr. Alcarez. The applicant is requesting a conditional use permit to operate a tattoo parlor specifically for the application of permanent makeup known as microblading. Um, service, services are planned to, to typically be offered by appointment only. We recommend approval and put it on the consent agenda. Thank you. Agenda item number seven for Alex Morales Cruz for a family daycare at 3049 Barberry Lane. Please come forward and state your name. Commissioner Alcaraz, this applicant is joining us by WebEx. Thank you. Calling Alexis Morales Cruz, if you would please pause for two to three seconds while we unmute your audio feed and then state your name and if the conditions are acceptable as applied to your application. Alexis Morales Cruz, and yes, I agree. Thank you. Is there any opposition to this item being placed on the consent agenda? Hearing none, I've asked Commissioner Bradley to uh, speak on this for the record. The applicant is requesting a conditional use permit to operate a family daycare home for up to six children within her single family dwelling in the Lake Placid neighborhood. 
7,221 square foot parcel is zoned R5D residential district. The applicant has over 12 years of experience caring for children and now she wishes to increase the number above four, which requires a conditional use permit. The proposed hours of operation are 6 to 6, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Staff recommends approval. Since there's no opposition, we've placed it on our consent agenda. All right, thank you. Agenda item number eight, the Hertz Corporation for a motor vehicle rental at 1940 Lassican Road. Is there a representative here? Please come forward. If you could just state your name for the record. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jimmy Williams here on behalf of the Harris Corporation. Do you accept the conditions? I do. Thank yes. you. You may be seated. Thank you. It's me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is there any opposition to this item being placed on the consent agenda? Hearing none, I ask Ms. Oliver to speak on this one. The applicant is requesting a conditional use permit for motor vehicle rentals with an existing 2,400 square foot storefront. This unit is located within the Regency sh Hilltop Shopping Center along Laskin Road on property zoned B2 in the Community bu Business District. The applicant proposes to keep no more than 10 vehicles for rent at any time on the site. The display areas are located in the far west portion of the shopping center. No automotive repair is proposed and staff is recommending a condition to prohibit that activity. The rental of box trucks, moving vans, trailers, heavy-duty pickup trucks are also prohibited at this site. The hours of operation are proposed 8 to 6 a.m. Um, and p.m. Monday through Friday and 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Saturdays. There will be no significant modification to the site or the exterior of the building. For the reasons stated above, staff recommends approval of this application. The applicant is agreeable to the conditions listed. And so, therefore, we've placed it on the consent agenda. All right, thank you. Agenda item number nine, please come forward for Pembroke North Associates for a tattoo parlor at 544 Independence Boulevard. All right, just state your name, please. <coughs> Cheryl Scott. Did you accept the conditions? I do. All right, thank you. Thank you. Can you. Be seated. Is there any opposition to this uh, being placed on the consent agenda? Hearing none, I've asked Commissioner Klein to read this item for the record. The applicant is requesting a conditional use permit in order to operate a tattoo parlor specifically for permanent makeup known as microblading within an existing beauty salon. The unit is located within the Pembroke Park Shops Shopping Center along with Independence Boulevard on property zoned B2 Community Business District. The um, planning, <clears throat> the planning staff um, finds the application acceptable and the commission agrees. Thank you. The next item is agenda item number 11. Is there a representative today here? Mr. Alcaraz, yes. they're with us via WebEx. Thank you. Calling Victoria Cozy All. If you would pause two to three seconds while we unmute your audio feed and then state your name and if the application or the conditions applied to your application are acceptable. This is Victoria Koziel, and they are acceptable. Thank you. Is there any opposition to this item being placed on the consent agenda? Hearing none, uh, Mr. Wiener to read this. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Alcarez. This is a conditional use permit for a short-term rental at 901 Pacific Avenue, Unit C. It is in the OR district. Uh, we recommend approval and put it on the consent agenda. The next item is uh, agenda item number 12 for Long Creek LLC, short-term rental at 4005 Atlantic Avenue. Please come forward. Or just state your name. Good afternoon. My name is Randall Tabor. I'm representative. Are the conditions acceptable to you? Yes. All right. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Is there any opposition to this item being placed on the consent agenda? Hearing none, I ask Commissioner Wiener to uh, read this item for the record. Thank you, sir. This is a, another conditional use permit for a short-term rental at 4005 Atlantic Avenue, Unit 218. It is in the OR District, and we have put it on the consent agenda. All right, thank you. 
Agenda item number 13 for a short-term rental at 425 21st Street. Please come forward. Mr. I'm Alcaraz, sorry. this applicant is also WebEx. Thanks. Thomas Lopresti, if you would pause two to three seconds, and then please state your name and if the conditions applied to your application are acceptable. Good afternoon. My name is Tom Lopresti, and the conditions are acceptable. He said so. Okay. He said sorry. R, yeah. Thank you. Is there any opposition to this item being placed on the consent agenda? Hearing none, I ask again, Mr. Uh, Weiner, to read this item for the record. Thank you, Mr. Acres. Uh, can, uh, conditional use or request for conditional use permit for a short-term rental at 425 21st Street in the OR district, and we have put this on the consent agenda. Thank you. And our last uh, consent agenda item uh, is item number 14. For short-term rental at 515 20th Street, please come forward. Hi. You can just state your name for the record. Oh, my name is Craig Dean. Thank you. Uh, and the conditions accessible to you? Absolutely. Right. Thank you. You can be seated. Thank you. Is there any opposition to this item being placed on the consent agenda? Hearing none, again, I ask Mr. Commissioner, I mean, Mr. Commissioner, Mr. Weiner. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. <laughs> uh Again, a conditional use permit for a short-term rental at 515 20th Street in the OR district, and we have put this on the consent agenda. Thank you. Mr. Chair, that was the last consent agenda item. The Planning Commission places the following applications on the agenda. The con consent. The consent. <laughs> <laughs> the consent. <laughs> Items number three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Alcaraz. Um, <clears throat> Second. <laughs> well, he didn't motion. So that's, he didn't motion? <laughs> no, he just stated it. No, but thanks for trying. Um, do I have a motion to approve um, by consent items 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, and 14? I'll make a motion. Okay. Second. And there's a second. Okay. Um, uh, hearing a second, are there any planning commissioners um, that need to abstain from voting on these items? You can't press Okay. Hearing none, the, uh, the motion was made by Mr. Alcaraz, and a second by Mr. Weiner. Is that right? Yep. yep. Okay. The vote is open. By vote of eight in favor, zero against, agenda items three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen have all been recommended for approval by consent. Okay, thank you. Um, if you had an application that was on the consent agenda, your request will now be scheduled for the upcoming city council for an upcoming city council meeting. Staff will contact you about the date. For those applications on the consent agenda, thank you for your participation. And uh, you, re you can remain in the meeting, um, either virtually or in person, but you are, are free to leave. Okay. okay. Um, so thank you. The next order of business is the uh, regular agenda. I don't have any more. And Madam Clerk, we have no no items on the regular agenda. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, Wall. All right. Can I, I'd like to say yeah, something. Mr. Weiner, please. Oh, uh, Mrs. Klein, it's been very nice working with you for the last couple of years. Uh, good luck in the future. I hope everything works out for you. We'll be around if you ever want to come back. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. It's been a pleasure. We'll call you when we head north skiing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Good luck. If you need a recommendation so you can sit on the planning commissioner, Commission up there. Just well, give us a call. I'm, I'm sure we can recommend you. <laughs> <laughs> she might cheat. No, first. we will miss you. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for participating in today's planning commission hearing. Uh, meeting is adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>